Hello, Mother. It's a wise child who knows her own mother. <laughs> Darling, I thought we could spend some time with each other. Nope, can't. I'm writing a play. Just started four hours ago. Oh, really? What's it about? The American Civil War. Oh. Well, the simple stories are always the best. <laughs> oh, I wish Darren hadn't given my word I'd do this. Or maybe I could be of some help. How? Well, I could be your secretary. I can type faster than anybody. Watch this. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy Merple Dirk? <laughs> oh. Well, I said I was fast, not accurate. <laughs> Mother, but I'm afraid this is one thing I'm going to have to do for myself. All right, all right, darling. Be independent. Just do it the hard way. <laughs> Hope you like my script for the pageant. Well, I'll uh, go change and then I'll fix dinner. <laughs> it's still very rough. Mm -hmm. Don't expect too much. What? Oh, okay, honey. A sandwich will be fine. <laughs> you've been cooking certainly smells good, sweetheart. We're having cold cuts. <laughs> that bad, huh? Oh, it's not bad for a first try. Worth a second? Go on, Darren. You can be honest. Well, darling, to tell the truth, it's the characters. They're kind of stereotyped, one-dimensional. you got to flesh them out. Think of them as real people. Well, I've learned something very important tonight. What's that? Never let your husband criticize on an empty stomach. <laughs> oh, my stars. Now, don't tell me you haven't finished, Samantha. Oh, I had the wrong slant, Mother. I'm starting again. Well, do you realize the war might take longer to write than it did to fight? <laughs> my problem. According to Darren, the critic is my characters. He thinks, he thinks I should flesh them out more. Oh, I think that's an excellent idea. Place them in front of you so you can see them better, and then you'll be able to write them better. You might have a point. Well, I'll leave you with it. Just bear in mind, darling. Write mortal. Think witch. <laughs> Captain Cochran, my hero, my hero. Hm. If you're so great, how come you're so one-dimensional? It would help to see you better. Captain Cochran, tall, handsome, courageous, intelligent.